When Darius the Great became king in 522 BCE, his empire was in a state of disarray. Though he had killed the usurper Gamada, most of the Achaemenid Empire erupted into open revolt. One of the rebellious countries was Babylonia, where Nadintu Bel proclaimed himself king and renamed himself Nebuchadnezzar III after the famous ruler of Babylonia. Darius quickly advanced against the rebellious state, killing Nadintu Bel and taking the city of Babylon. The siege of Babylon was described 80 years later by Greek historian Herodotus. His account includes one of the most fascinating stories from this period. A story about a man named Zopyrus who mutilated his own face to take the city. Though its veracity is debatable, it makes for a wonderful tale. But first, this is History Defined. Please hit like and subscribe, and enjoy the video. Zopyrus was the son of a Persian nobleman named Megabizus, one of the men who helped Darius kill the usurper Gamada. When Babylonia revolted, Zopyrus devised a daring plan to regain control of the city. He cut off his own nose and ears, had himself whipped, and then went to meet Darius. Upon presenting himself to Darius, the king stood up from his throne, shocked at the state of Zopyrus, and asked who had done this to him. Zopyrus responded that he did it to himself. Darius said, Are you fool enough to think that the mutilation of your body can hasten our victory? When you did that to yourself, you must have taken leave of your senses. At that, Zopyrus explained his plan. He would go to Babylon and proclaim himself a noble Persian exile, mutilated by Darius himself. They would surely let him in, and from there, he could bring down the city from the inside. As the mutilation had already been done, Darius agreed, and so Zopyrus put the second part of his plan into action. Upon arrival, the Babylonian soldiers allowed him passage into the city and brought him before their leaders. The Babylonians, seeing a man of noble rank mutilated, took his fake story as fact. Gaining the Babylonians' trust, Zopyrus soon became the commander-in-chief of their army, allowing him to weaken the city's defenses. He then led many soldiers under his charge into an ambush where Darius' army slaughtered them. With the gates undefended, Darius' army victoriously reconquered the city. Zopyrus was made a satrap, and according to Herodotus, Darius rewarded him with the highest honors, giving him every year the sort of gifts which are most prized amongst Persians. Now it is possible that Zopyrus played a role during the war against Babylonia, but there's a lot of evidence stacked against this story. Herodotus's account is probably inspired by Homer's description of Odysseus, who spied on Troy after mutilating himself. In fact, this is not the only story that Herodotus has adapted from Homer. Also, according to Herodotus, Zopyrus became governor of Babylon after its fall, but we know for certain that this never happened. Many cuneiform texts have been found in Babylon, and Zopyrus is conspicuously absent from them. This raises many questions about Herodotus' sources. Zopyrus was married to a sister of Darius the Great. The couple had at least one daughter and a son named Megabizus, one of the Persian commanders during Xerxes' campaign against Greece in 480 BCE. Megabizus was married to a daughter of Xerxes, and their son was also named Zopyrus. This Zopyrus defected to the Athenians in 445 BCE. He has been regarded as one of the sources of Herodotus. If this is correct, perhaps the younger Zopyrus exaggerated his grandfather's achievements, or is simply remarkably unaware of the true story. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe if you did. Also, I'm always looking to make content that my viewers would enjoy. I'd really appreciate it if you let me know what topics you'd like me to cover in the comments below.